All right guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be doing a one day lure building challenge. We, so we have one day to basically paint, build, finish these two lures here, and then go catch fish on them. So if you didn't know already, I own a lure business where I make trout and salmon lures. I'll link that down in the description below so you can find that if you wanna buy some stuff. But today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I've got two sinking blanks here. These are two crankbait blanks. I think one of them, I wanna paint like a an actual forage fish. So I'm gonna go for the uh, the red belly dace. I'm kinda using this to go off from. Now they most, most of them look like that. The males, they have that red belly. Um, some of them vary a little bit. So we're gonna try to imitate that as, as best as we can, which is kinda hard be, with such a small bait like this. This is like a two, Two inch, little over two inch bait. It's really small, hard to get a lot of detail on it. The other one that I have here, we're just gonna wing it and do whatever whatever comes to mind. Just gonna paint it and see if we can catch fish on it. So, as you guys saw, I'm here at my paint booth in my basement. If you've ever bought a crankbait off of me, this is where it gets painted, right here, in my basement, in this paint booth. So, I can go over this whole setup someday if you guys want to. Show you my ventilation system, how I built this. But, let's get into painting these things. I'll also try to link down in the description below some of the stuff that you'll need if you want to start painting your own lures. I'll link my compressor, airbrushes, these things, a bunch of different stuff. But the first thing you're going to do is tape off the bill here. So we're just going to use some masking tape and then we're going to put it on our little helping hands device here which just holds the bait for us. I got to put a base coat on this of white. That's all you need. A little heat set with a hair dryer. And then we're gonna put a pearl, pearl white coat over that. So I just switched over to my other airbrush here that has a smaller needle on it so I can hopefully get a little bit better detail. Like I said, these baits are so small. It's gonna be hard to do this. And by the way, I've never done this pattern on a bait, so I'm just like winging it. I don't even know how this is gonna turn out. It might look like crap, I'm gonna have to redo it, I don't know. So looking at my reference image here, the belly, the belly on this one's actually really yellow. I'm not gonna go that yellow. I'm gonna make it kind of a lighter yellow than that, but we're gonna do the belly first. I'm gonna mix it right in the bowl of the gun to get the color I want. A Little bit of pearl white, barely any yellow, just a drop. and see that very well but that's what we got like that I think I'm gonna do the red next but it's kind of like an orangey red so I'm just gonna mix in yellow with my red I think that's pretty bright Some of these have like a little bit of a copper color in them. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of that in this one. Something like that. Try to add a little bit more depth to this back a little bit. I guess I'll do the dark line now, the black line. Something like that. Yeah, you guys can see it was looking pretty good and then I tried to do some fancy stuff. I got two little spots here and here, but I'm not gonna worry about it. So for this other one, I'm gonna do like a lightning bolt pattern on it. So it's gonna be sort of a transparent bait. Sick. 
put some clear coat on these. Now I'm not gonna really get into my whole method of doing it. I spend a lot of time researching and testing different things. Um, if you're only gonna do a couple of baits like this, the best thing to use is a two-part epoxy and then you just have a rotator. You have it on like a grill rotisserie or some type of rotator so it doesn't sag. You just paint it on with a paintbrush and uh, the two-part epoxy works really well if you're only doing a couple of baits. But the most durable is either gonna be epoxy or some type of UV resin and that's what we're gonna do is a UV cure. And that's all I'm gonna tell you. All right guys, so we got hooks put on both of these guys here. As you can see, I run single hooks on all my crankbaits. So if you buy lures from me, um, they always come with single hooks, even the crankbaits, and they work awesome. Caught some really big fish on these, the same type of hooks, and uh, I'd never go back to treble hooks. They're just so much easier, and they work just as good. So anyways guys, comment down in the description below which one you think is gonna catch more fish. Personally, I think this guy right here because it looks pretty real. This one, I don't know. We'll find out. Here we are at the river. We're launching the raft right now. We're going to try out those two crankbaits that we just painted up. See if we can catch a couple fish on them, see if they worked and which one works better. Yoo! Here we go! Spot burn, baby. All right, let's put on this Red Billy Day spoon, this Red Billy Day uh, crankbait. Sorry. See if we can get a trout on here. There's a couple milling around. We caught a couple here. Oh, that was not a good knot. Oh, sometimes not. The sometimes not. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Small. It's nice. <laughs> we can throw it in. Yep. Yep. Yes. They're kind of. Oh, I got one. Doubled up. Doubled. We got a double. I'm on the. Oh. Somebody's calling me. And I'm sure that everyone on the YouTube land can hear that vibrating in my waders. Dude, this is. He might be hooked weird. Dude, look at this. Look at this rod. I must have foul hooked him. There we go. Here's Josh's fish. Dude, I don't know if I can get this thing in. Oh, it came off. Yeah, shoot. He swiped at it and I just snagged him. Okay, that's the best case scenario right there. Got him. Oh, it was you. I got him that time. He ate it. Stay on, baby. Keep him down. I'm gonna scare him. Skirt, skirt. Yeah, baby. Sick. Oh. oh, he was barely hooked, too. Nice little brown. I cast it down in there this time. There's fish right in that, right in that back corner. Dude. <laughs> I just said there's fish in that back corner. Boom. <laughs> The king of the Kennebec, baby! Woo! If you guys are wondering what rod I'm using, I got the JT Panhandler 7 foot. There's a link in the description to the rod and a promo code for you guys. If you want to buy one yourself, it will knock a few bucks off. It's uh, my favorite trout rod to use. Oh, that one's a little bit better. Look at that. A little day crank bait. He got both hooks. You know he wanted that bad. Actually, do you want to use the other one I have? Uh, it's not the same one. It's a different color, but it's the same crank bait. This is. I've been actually testing these because I'm gonna probably sell these. These are the new sinking crank baits that I'm gonna use. See, they're like a different profile, but they're like right. sinking. Uh -huh. All right, Josh is gonna try the other crank bait that we painted. So, oh, I like it. we'll see. Uh, see if we can catch the fish on that. So I forgot to mention that Josh and I both have the Tide Wee waders on. Uh, they sent us two free pairs to try out. So far they're pretty good. The only issue that we've had was that the gravel guard that goes over your boot, like for Josh's, I think his boot's a little bit thicker than mine, but um, it, it's just tight when it goes down over his boot. But they still work great. They're, they're pretty rugged. I got a size large, I'm 6'2". Josh has a size medium, you're 5'6". Five, six. Five, six. 
and uh, the fit is is really not that bad. So uh, they're pretty rugged. Yeah, they're they're really rugged. They've got double double, you know, the thickness on the knees, and I mine haven't leaked at all. I've used them a bunch already. I've been using them for like a month and a half. So pumped about that. Check those guys out in the description below if you want to go pick one a pair of those up yourself. move downstream try a couple different spots there's obviously fish here but we want to try a couple different spots see if we can get uh, maybe a bigger fish i don't know maybe some brook trout too or a salmon or a rainbow trout i don't know fish will hold right over in here yeah that's probably fish told you dude boom Nice looking, anyways. I guess I gotta get better at rowing if we're gonna start a guy company. Great. Hooked up. Baby! One arm in it, baby! Another fish on the greenie. Boom. Yeah. Mm. I know. Got him. Got him. I haven't seen it. Oh, he's right there. That, dude, that's a nice one, I think. Halfway decent. It's a better fish. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish, Josh. Oh, hook just came out. Dude, that's a nice one. That's yeah. where we're going. That's a 16. Yeah, there's a 16er, at least. Nice. Dude, that's a nice fish. Not bad at all. Heck yeah. Sick. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> there you go. Woo! Nice. That was a good fish. It can't be just that one fish in there. I mean, this is like a freaking perfect spot. Oh, <laughs> great when I said that. Nice. Definitely not the size class of that yours was, but hey. <sighs> That one's yellow, huh? Yeah. Check that out, guys. Oh, yeah. On the dace. Cleaning up on browns today. Holy smokes. We do it all day for multiple days. There you go. Fish on, baby. Fish on. Come off. Still on? Oh, it came off. Cocky. You got a little cocky with it, rubbing it in my face. I did. I 110%. <laughs> a little one arm look back. <laughs> there you go, buddy! Dude, I'm telling you, we dropped down here. Dude, they're loaded in here. Brown trout or brook trout? Friggin' guy hooks up twice. Lose, we'll lose his one. Hooks up again next friggin'. Cast. Sheesh. He's hooked up again, dude. Come on. Okay. Like I said, a lot of times they're not even trying to eat it. They're just swiping at it to like because they're pissed off. Oh, right there at the boat. 
It's a stickerel. <laughs> Another brown. We've got all browns. Oh, I got one. Okay, we found them. So you guys see this up there? It's like down in there a little bit. We've officially lost count of how many fish that we've got. Officially. Oh, not bad. All right, guys, we're about to pack her in. Gonna head back up to the truck, call it a day. That was pretty good. Uh, that was a pretty good little mission there, get, getting some fish on those crankbaits. Uh, Josh definitely caught more in that green one than I got on the uh, Red Belly Dace, but we, po we both hammered them. I don't know how many fish we caught. Probably over 20. We caught like, we'll say 25 fish. Yeah. We caught like 25 fish. Caught enough not to keep track of them. Yeah, we, we lost count. We don't know for sure, but heck of a day. If you guys like this video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Go check out Everett Lures down in the description below. And we'll catch you guys in the next video.